Okay, hello and welcome back. So, last time not very much happened, we got the introduction and wandered blindly. Um, yeah, so this time I want to just go back to this uh, fair and see if there's probably something more important there that was completely missed. Um, but I mean, we're starting again with no real uh, information. Uh, that's what it, yeah, yeah, stupid name. Um, yeah, I've also increased the volume a bit, so hopefully that'll be nicer. And we'll see how things go. I uh, remember there was like a money changer dude here that we didn't actually talk to. I wanted to see if I could take his money, but in the end that was Good day to you. not possible. Friend Maul, I was wondering, if I can exchange your currency, what would be your pleasure? I don't even think I have a currency. Eh, let's just ask about the orb. We are seeking information. We are investigating the disappearance of the Orb of Storms. So, you are the ones who have ruined the fair. Be gone. I have nothing to say to you. Oh. Then you have no knowledge of the Orb's disappearance? I have no knowledge of anything. Now leave me alone. Oh. That's an interesting question. But he's so far not very helpful, is he? Have you noticed any large amounts of money changing hands of late? No. And if I had, I wouldn't tell you. The only hands I care about are mine. And since there is no money to be changed here, I'll bid you adieu. Adieu! <laughs> well, that seems like quite a step up to just accuse him, but... I mean, accusations were flying pretty fast, Fine. but he's not a fox, Goodbye. so... And don't come back. I mean, he probably knows something, but presumably we all need money, and I guess we won't try steal it from him, especially with these two other people that probably wouldn't like it, but I mean, we are a fox, so stealing money doesn't seem so out of character. Here we go, another person. Let's talk to this rat, I think, if I can highlight. No? Okay, well, if we can catch up with this rat, which has disappeared. Uh, oh, there it is. And... Is that a bird? A ferret merchant? Looks okay, it's the clothes make it look like a bird. Never Excuse mind. me, my good lady, <laughs> but my companions and I are in search of the orb of storms. The orb? Go on. Perhaps you could tell us where you were evening last. I was in my wagon, preparing my sculptures for today's sale. They are quite beautiful, are they not? Is there anyone who could vouch for your whereabouts? I'm afraid not. No one saw me from early yesterday evening until today. Ooh, no alibi. What other question? What would you do with such an orb if you had it in your possession? I'd try to take it apart. Find out how it worked. What a feat of engineering. What skill that would take. Isn't this magical? I'm not sure it's engineering like. Can you tell me who might have stolen the orb? Someone very clever. I understand the orbs are heavily guarded. In order for someone to steal one, he would have to be very clever indeed. Or be someone that even the guards would not suspect. Do you have any advice to help us on our quest? I cannot help you find the orb, but once you do, I suggest you learn all you can about it. Then bring your knowledge to me, and I'll see if I can make another. Together, we could become very rich. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. Um, okay. Who, what do you know of these? Like a little more information on this. I know they contain the secrets of nature itself. I do not understand how they work. It has been my fondest wish to be able to take one apart and look inside for myself. Perhaps someday. Yeah, perhaps. Thank you for your time, friend Ferret. I must be off. Don't forget what I said. I will anxiously await your return. Yeah, why not? There's money. Do we look? At the, we can't even look at the sculptures. No, 
to look at the ferret like I don't trust this ferret. Why not? Right, so uh, can't look at that. It's kinda weird, I'm not sure what you can and can't look at. Which is strange. I mean I thought usually in these games you can look at pretty much everything. In this case, no. I mean it does let you at least see if there's going to be something, but that's a fence. Um, now what I mean if I were in well I mean in the game I am investigating this, but if I were really trying to investigate something, I mean wouldn't it make more sense to go to the scene of the crime? Find out where the orb was, who could have taken it, but I'm not sure. Can I not talk to this rat? There, talk to rat. Probably the rat that does it. Forced to pack up and move out before my wares are sold. This is not a good day, sir. Would you be so kind as to tell me where you were evening last? I was working my booth, trying to make a meager living. I am a merchant. Where else would I be? I don't know. Out drinking. Um, what the, yeah, what does and what is it you sell around here? I am a bookseller. Yeah. Books are nice. Why would anyone steal the orb? The orb has great value. It could be used by many races. How would you use it? I am a merchant. If I had such an orb, I would sell it to the highest bidder. Then I could retire and live the rest of my days in luxury. Of course, you could probably make more money selling the information from the orb while keeping it yourself, you know? Instead of a once-off purchase. Um, but in any case... Can you think of anyone who would want to steal the orb of storms? The orb is very valuable to many races. It could have been anyone here, it could have been no one here. Such useful information. Can you offer me any advice for my quest? Trust no one, not even your traveling companions. Sleep lightly, watch your back at all times, and should you obtain the orb's return, get rid of it as quickly as you can, or it will become a curse upon your life. What do you know of these orbs? I only know that they came from the time before. When man walked the earth, I do not know how they were made, nor how they came to contain their powers. Thank you for your time and trouble, good sir. You have been most helpful. I'm richly helpful. I look a ferret walked up to. Oh, Excuse awesome. me, friend. I'm Let me terrible ask you at some this, aren't <laughs> Time is money, my friend. If you want one, it will cost you the other. But we have very little money, and we will need it for our quest to find the Orb of Storms. Sorry, friend. Like I said, no dime, no time. Bye now. Perhaps keeping your head attached to your body has some value to you. Yes, thank you, Mr. Ireball. Yes, it, it, it certainly does. He can be useful. Where was this awesome? Now then, what were you doing last night when the orb was stolen? I was playing dominoes out behind one of the tents. Honest, I was there all evening. And others can vouch for that fact? Sure, uh, plenty of people saw me. Okay. What does he know about the orb? What do you know about the orb? No more than anyone else. It's the orb that predicts the weather and tells when to plant the crops. It's been around since the time of man. That's all I know, honest. Sounds like somebody's, maybe it's just a TV with the weather station, you know. But the orb is quite valuable. You and your friends have every motive for stealing it. Suppose I did steal the orb. What would I do with it? You can't fence something like that. No, stealing the orb is way out of my league. So he's a criminal. Mm -hmm. Do you know of anyone who might have stolen the orb? Are you joking? I know plenty of people who might have stolen it, but I don't know of anyone who did steal it, and that's the truth. You seem to associate with a fairly unsavory life. Have you heard any rumors among your companions? Not a thing. Most of the people I know are into petty <laughs> Nothing as big as an orb. Do you have any advice for us on our search? This thing is big. It's much too big a job for one person. 
You mean one person could not have stolen it? One person might have stolen it, but it would take a whole syndicate to either use it or get rid of it. Whoever made off with it is bound to have some really powerful contacts. Well, my friend, if you run across any information, we would be most grateful if you would share it with us. And if you don't let us know, it will make me most displeased. Do we understand each other? We, 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 we most certainly do. If I hear of anything, you'll be the first to know. See that we are. Farewell. Huh, that was nice. I guess Ock is actually quite useful at intimidating witnesses, but... I mean, I'm not sure how any sort of... Oh, wait, this was where we had the competition, wasn't it? How any of this sort of system works here, because I mean, they both seem to be fairly important, and there's a forest king and some ball kings, so who's in charge? I don't know. I mean, nothing we can look at. I mean, I'm also not entirely sure, you know, where this orb was, because if I knew where it was, then. Like I was saying, I can go investigate, see who was guarding it at the time, but no, no information. I mean, I got a little more information now, so coming to the fair was certainly useful. What else would be useful is a mini map, so I could tell if I'm going in circles or not. I mean, that was something I especially noticed in the Ferret Village, you get this small visible part of the screen and then you have no idea if you're going the right way. Um, okay. So yeah, knowing where the orb was would be really useful. But at least we got, see there's a dead end. Um, we got some information. Money changer probably knows something. The otter knows nothing useful. Well, I mean, he said it's a whole syndicate, so that's kind of useful, but not immediately useful. Um, and we can maybe count on Oc to. Wait, who is this? Is this somebody new? Uh, oh, no. It's not easy to... Where do you have to click to talk to him? Oh, uh, stop moving the screen. There, no. Oopsie. Oh, there's someone else here. So, let's talk to this bear merchant. Instead Pardon me, my friend. One. I'm conducting an investigation. Would you mind answering a few questions for me? You want to ask me questions? I'm not very good at answering questions, but I'll try. Huh. Let's see, where was he? Where were you last night? I know this one, and don't tell me, let me think. Maybe we can just pin and this all on him Mr. anyway. Bear. Wait a minute, let's see. Last night, today I'm here. Oh yeah, last night, I was here too. I was getting my wares ready to sell. Looks like he sells And pots. what exactly is it that you sell? Sweets, fruit on a stick, honey on a stick, honeyed fruits uh, on a stick. Honey just fall it off a stick? Sweet and will fit on a stick, I'll sell it. Fascinating. Who do you think might have stolen the Orb of Storms? Hmm, that's a hard one. Who stole the orb? Let's see. I think it was the thief. The the thief? That's right. If you find the thief, you'll have the person who stole the orb. Yeah. I'm not even sure if we're going to bother talking to the him. What's that? What's what? I believe I heard someone calling me. I don't hear. Thank you so much for your time and trouble, Mr. Bear. And don't take any wooden nickels. Sure, I won't. 
that made no sense. Uh, no, we talked to that one right. So there was this other thing that looked like a creature that I will not name because so far I've got two of them wrong. Um, which is definitely not... Oh, this is a tent we can go in. Oh, a fortune teller. And if we can look at... Let's look at the fortune teller. Perhaps she can provide me with some answers. Yeah, that, that was helpful. Talk to. Excuse me. Ah, you wish to have your fortune told. What is your name? <laughs> what my is name my is Riff, combat? and I come here seeking information. Information is my business. Not information about myself, but rather about the Orb of Storms. Ah, so you are the one sent to seek the Orb. Yes, apparently Did the police were too busy. Elsewhere, and I will supply the information you seek. Now then, about the Orb of Storms. Hmm, patience, my handsome friend. First, let me see your palm. Interesting. You may now ask your questions. Yeah, fascinating. Okay, let's see. Presumably this cat knows something, but it's always the same questions. Um, let's ask. Wait. Perhaps you could look into your oh, crystal and tell me who did around. this deed. Very well. I can see forms, many forms, but I cannot make them out. I sense great power. Your quest will be a most dangerous one. Well... For what purpose was the orb stolen? If the thief would sell information on the seasons and weather to other tribes, it would make him very rich indeed. That's what I said. But I didn't steal it. I mean... I suppose you were in your booth last evening telling fortunes? Now who is telling fortunes? I was here, Kitling. Oh, Kitling? Is that a real word? Not familiar with it, but okay. What do you know of the orbs? I know that the orb of storms is but one of several. I also know that all of the orbs are somehow linked to a great intelligence from which their powers are derived. And what is the source of this great intelligence? That is a mystery that died with the humans. Uh, what advice, advice can you give me on my quest? I suggest you examine the scenes. What I said as well. You may find other pieces to your puzzle there. You mean journey to the sanctuary of the Orb of Storms? Yes. There you will find the old one, Elara. She may help you, but first you must convince her that your heart is true. Then I shall be on my way. Thank you for your help and counsel. Will you not tarry a while longer? Perhaps a soft bed will rest and refresh you for your journey. My friend is being held prisoner. Until she is free, there will be no rest for me. I see. Well, I hope it doesn't take then him too long. off with you, handsome one. May fortune smile upon you. Pretty sure he'd made a bad choice turning down that uh, nap. But yeah, so that was pretty much the same things I said. Examine the scene of the crime and that you can make money selling the information. Oh, there's the one I was looking for. Oh, well. Oh, I'll come back here. Good day to you, sir. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Uh, if it isn't the fox that closed down the bear and ruined my vacation, would I mind if you asked me a few questions? Of course not. You may waste all of my time if you wish. Well, that's very nice of him. Um... 
Uh, would you tell me... What I was doing at the time of the theft? Of course, I was butting heads with one of the other fairgoers. You were having an argument with him? I didn't say I was arguing with him. I said we were butting heads. I guess he means literally then. He does have an impressive set of horns. But I mean, I think pretty much we got the information we need from that cat, so... Can you give me any I mean, advice in looking for the missing orb? Yes, I can. I suggest you take the longest, most difficult route available. Don't forget to stop occasionally and bang your head with a large rock or other blunt instrument. Bury your face in a hill of red ants whenever you can. And if you should run across any rams that might be on holiday, don't forget to take time out and totally ruin it for them. I like this guy. Let's just talk to him anyway, because I think he's going to have interesting answers. Who do you think might have stolen the ore? I think it was the rat. That's what I said. No, no. On second thought, I think it was the bears. I was going to blame it However, on it could have been the dogs. Haven't met My any. boat, however, is with one of those crafty foxes. Ooh, oh, that's going too far. All the fingers seem to be pointing to them and to one in particular. And I have seen no evidence to the contrary. Have you? Do you have any idea why someone might have wanted to steal the orb? Hmm. Something that predicts the weather, tells us the seasons, something upon which our entire agricultural existence depends. I can't possibly imagine why anyone would want to steal that old thing. Perhaps to make into a necklace? What do you think? I like him. What do you know about these orbs? Only two things. One, they are round. Hence, the name orb. Makes Two, sense. the theft of one has caused the complete ruination of my vacation at this fair. That is all I know about them, and that is all I want to know about them. Oh, well, that was very nice. I, uh, thank you for... Farewell, young fox. If we never meet again, it will be too soon. <laughs> wow, what a sore head. Hey, a ram. Butting heads? Sore head? That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was going to come and like headbutt us or something. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Get to this orb sanctuary place. But I have no idea where the orb sanctuary is. Because that was where I wanted to go in the first place. But I didn't really see it. So I thought, okay, the village would be a nice stopping point. But maybe we need to go through like the forest or something. Or maybe these guys have some information. I barely got a chance to enjoy the fair, and here I am on assignment again. Okay, no information from him about where it is. This was one of the best fairs we've ever had. Well, for most of us anyway. Yeah, I only got second place. Sucked. Okay, so. Can we read the sign? No. I mean, there's a forest, a cave, oh, sanctuary, it must be the orb sanctuary. See, it makes more sense now that I know it's at a sanctuary that it's not like, you know, wow. Look lost at the foxes size or something. Of those knockers. <laughs> Indeed. Let yeah. us hope those inside are responsive to our inquiries. I don't care as long as they answer our questions. Okay, Fox, keep your, oh, okay, look at the knockers. That knocker is so large. I hope it doesn't damage the gate when we use it. Or one of us. Well, uh, let's try using these knockers. Oh, uh, gate knockers. And what? Okay, so we've got to open the door. I see nothing special about it. Yeah, that, that wasn't deliberate. It just happened to be there. Okay, cool. Ah, that's a bunny rabbit. That one I'm pretty confident about. Maybe it's Judy. Hey, servant, come back here, servant. Servant girl? Okay, she's... There she is. She is. Talk to... Ah. Oh. I don't know, it's like you can only... It's really annoying to try and talk to these characters because they keep moving and they have very specific 
ideas of where they need to be. And okay, fine. Screw the servant. I mean, not literally. Oh, oh this twin. Okay, they, they probably won't have anything interesting. Let's just find where this orb was kept and investigate the scene of the crime. I guess I'll just follow this path. And there's another gate. Which can open again. And, ah. So I guess if we can look. Very interesting architecture. Yeah. Statue. Pretty foxy looking statues. <laughs> okay, well, might as well go in. Certainly looks like the place you'd keep an orb. What do you want? We seek Elara, matron of the orb. You have found her. Identify yourself. My name is Rip. These are my companions. Ia, Lieutenant of the Forest King, and Sergeant Ak of the Boar Guard. We have come to find the Orb of Storms. For what purpose? Because to return it here. <laughs> How do I know you're not planning to keep it for yourself? So, yeah. Should we go with the word of honor? Or like, I don't care? I mean, they did say they want a nice, pure heart. But I mean... If he was lying, he would lie as well. But I mean, you could lie for either of them. So, and do foxes have honor in this? Let's just say he has no personal interest. I have no personal interest in the orb. Then why do you search for the orb? I have been falsely accused of the theft, and my friend is being held hostage until the orb is returned. I see. So my only motives in locating the orb are to obtain my friend's release and prove my innocence. I sympathize with your situation. However, you and your friends are outsiders, and as such cannot be allowed to stay. Wait! I represent your great friend, the Forest King. Does that mean nothing to you? Our friendship means a great deal. But how do I know you represent a very trusting cat. Do I not wear the uniform of the Elk Guard? Anyone can wear a uniform. Bring me a token of authority from the king himself, and you shall have my cooperation in conducting your investigation. What shall the token be? The king will know. But our time is short. We have only until the next new moon to return the orb. Then I suggest you make haste. Now go. Go! Return when you have the token. Well, okay then. How do we walk out of here? Okay, never mind. Well, she was not very helpful, was she? Doesn't trust anyone. It was really Orb's been stolen, and she still doesn't want anyone to know anything. I mean, it's not like it's going to get more stolen if she helped us, so... It seems a bit pointless objecting to our assistance. But whatever. We just need to meet this forest king, who must be in the forest, I guess, so that should be an easy enough um, direction to go to. Uh, as soon as I can find the doorway out of here, I probably should have actually just followed that path because yeah, we went we went a lot more direct on the way back than there we go. There's the path again. Okay, cool. So we will just get to the main map. All right, and then I think that's enough for this time. So next time we'll go to the forest and see if we can find a token from the Forest King. So until next time, goodbye.